In the dream, you are falling, lost in the listening distance, as dark locks in. Nightfall. Good evening. This week's Nightfall will tell you everything you need to know about urban transportation and more. The play by Marjorie Stewart is called Cemetery Stuff. Oh, damn, here he comes. Now look here, Mortland. You're late again. More than five minutes. What the hell are you trying to pull? Look, Ben, I had a few tie-ups back there, that's all. Tie-ups, eh? Such as Bali in the coffee shop here before you started out? Eh? That's some tie-up. And I suppose you stopped at the other end, too. Uh, let up on me, will you? Take it out on somebody else for a change. Now, look, I've had a lot of complaints about you, Mortland. You're pulling away from stops too quickly, leaving passengers stranded, missing stops purposely when you're running late. Look, Ben... I'll see it doesn't happen again, okay? Your promises don't count. Not anymore. You've only got one thing going for you, Martland. Yeah, what's that? We're, uh, taking into consideration the fact that you've been through a lot in the last month and... Thanks, Ben. Okay. Well, get going. Let's see you back here on schedule. Damn company man, he and his whole transportation system can go straight to hell. Hey, Wartland. What? Oh, Frankie. What, did you shift over? Hey, what are you on these days, anyway? You the Sinclair car? Yep. Having some uh, hassles with Ben? Mm. He's just trying to throw his weight around. This your stuff? Next one. <laughs> no, Mortland. You sure don't look like the kind of guy who'd get bothered. You got it, Frankie. Anyway, I don't need this lousy job. How come? Got a few million socked away? I don't know. But I don't mind telling you. I got a few other irons in the fire. My lawyer clears up a few entanglements. Then I'm heading up. Can't take the Toronto pride. But... Oh, I don't mind, Toronto. It's been a city of opportunities, as far as I'm concerned. And I just don't like anyone pushing me around. Is that so? Nope. So, I prefer to do the pushing myself. Now, take this route, for instance. I did a bit of pushing to get a hold of this one. Yeah, I bet you did. It's a real easy route, isn't it? Well, it's not too bad. Uh, this stretch here, for example, no problem at all. There's no evening stop, so after 5.30, it's clear sailing right through. Frank? Yeah, to hell with him. Well, damn it, spoke too soon. Driver, stop. What? Uh, no, you made a mistake, man. There's no point in you getting off here. This is my stop, driver. No, there's nothing here, ma'am. Driver, this is my stop. You want the next stop, ma'am. You've made a mistake. Driver, this is my stop. Okay, okay, have it your way. Planning on going into the cemetery. 
dressed all in black like that. But everybody knows after 5.30, it's closed. Yeah, what will it be? Oh, hi. The regular? Yeah, uh, easy on the sugar. So, uh, how's it going? Look, Molly, I'm running late. Right. Well, there you are. Listen, uh, call me sometime, will you? Thanks. Hey, hey, Mortland, uh, could you wait just a minute? What? Oh, you look, Pete, I, I'll pay you that ten I owe you next week, okay? Oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's not that, George. Look, uh, you and I, we've, we've had our differences in the past, you know, but, uh, but I, I, I just wanted to say how, how sorry I was to hear about Marion. Well, you know, we were kids together. Us two. A real shock it was. Especially the way it happened. She, she, uh, she was such a good swimmer. Yeah, look, uh, I'm in a bit of a hurry right now. I gotta get going. Oh, sure, sure. I, I won't keep you waiting. See you around, George. Yeah, okay then. I hope not. I sure hope not. Nosy bastard. <laughs> Block, thought I'd miss you. Uh, does this bus go right into the St. Clair station? Yeah. Uh, you got it. Uh, treating yourself to a to a late night snack, eh, driver? That's right. Uh, that coffee sure smells good on a cold night like this. You gotta do something to keep yourself awake. Thank God, this is my last run tonight. Yes, sir. I figured it, boss. How, how long does it take to get down to St. Clair? Well, about five minutes. At least a straight run from here. No stops until we get ready to turn off Mount Pleasant. From the corner on, it's just a short run into the subway loop. God damn it. Why the hell would anybody be getting on here? The cemetery stuff. Damn it, anyway. Driver, will this bus take me to the end? What? What 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 do you mean, the end? Driver, will this bus take me to the end? Well, um, uh, yeah, sure. Sure, yeah, it it, it goes right to, to the end. I sure wish I could get a job driving a bus. Looks like fun to me. Yeah, it's hard work, kid, just like everything else. I like this stretch. You can really open her up, huh? What? You never have to stop along here. Damn. Driver, this is my stop. Driver, this is my stop. All right, all right, I can hear you. Damn it, she got off here the same time last night. What'd you stop for, driver? There wasn't anyone waiting to get off. It's windy out there, driver. 
cold. I'll be glad to get home to my apartment. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'll be glad to get home myself. Well, it won't be long now. This is the last half of my final run for the night. Well, I'm glad I caught you then. Damn it. There she is again. What's she doing out there this time of night? I'm gonna find out. Driver, does this bus take me to the end? What? Driver, does this bus take me to the end? Did you see that woman getting off the bus just now? What woman? Well, you couldn't miss her. She was all in black. She, she was dressed in black. No. No, I guess I missed her. You couldn't have her. She brushed right past you. No, no, I don't remember her. This uh, trouble, I don't know. It must have started night before last. Well, yeah, mon Monday night it was. What, what sort of trouble? Hey, look, if you're having trouble with that route again, Mortland, I want to know about it. No, it's... It's not the sort of trouble you're thinking about. I, I don't even know yet if it is trouble. Maybe it's just sort of weird. You'd better tell me about it. On my last run, night before last, as I was going north, a woman got off at the cemetery stop. There was uh, something, and something about her. I, I, I can't really describe her. Go on. Well, she, she rang the bell. I argued with her a bit, but then I had to let her off the bus. And I, I went on up to the top, up to Eglinton, you know, same as I always do. And then I turned around to head back here. Yeah. As I came back down toward the cemetery again, I was sort of looking for her, figuring she'd made a mistake, gotten off at the wrong stop. But I, I didn't see her again. Instead, an old woman got on right across the street from where the first woman had gotten off. Well, so what? You're not trying to tell me that you think there's some kind of connection that... But doesn't it seem odd to you? Now, look, you've got nothing to worry about. Just as long as they pay their fare and don't make any commotion. For God's sake, Ben! Forget about it, Mortland. Do you hear me? Forget about it. There's an explanation for everything if you want to dig deep enough. What? What do you mean by that? Like I told you, forget about it. You're... Nerves are getting the better of you, George, and I'm not surprised. What with the shock of your wife drowning like that. Uh, now, look, go home, George. Get yourself a good night's sleep. You'll see. You'll feel better tomorrow. trying to pick a fight with you, Molly. I just thought we could spend some time together. I, I don't want to be alone tonight. Well, yeah, but I can't leave early. Betty has that awful sore throat, so she called in sick, and, well, Mike says... Oh, I got... forget. I don't want to hear what Mike says. Look, I, I'm going to try to get some sleep for a change. But what are you so uptight about? This job is starting to get to me. I'll be glad to wash my hands of the whole thing. What do you mean, George? Are you thinking of quitting? I, I got plans. What do you mean, plans? Oh, never mind. Just never mind. Mm. 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 It's a real easy 
easy route, is it? You're late, Martha. Mm-hmm. You're late, late. Driving a bus late. must be easy. She easy. Was such a good swimmer. Mm-hmm. Such a good this swimmer. This is my Lord. stop, driver. Mm-hmm. My Take stop. me to the end. Mm-hmm. The end, my driver. Stop, uh-huh. driver. My stop. Take me to the end, driver. Mm-hmm. The end. The end. The end. <laughs> Marion. Marion, it was an accident. I swear it was an accident. Can you get someone to take my last run for me? What's the matter with you? What are you talking about? I just... I can't do this last run. I... I got a... a funny feeling. Ben, just... just get somebody else to do it. Come on, George. You know damn well I can't get another man on this much notice. I won't do it, I tell you. I... I can't. Get hold of yourself, George. You come with me, Ben. What? Well... uh, Okay. But let's get going. George! What's going on, Molly? Oh, uh, hi. Well, I Mike let me off early, and I, uh, I thought I'd ride up with George and kill some time. Kill some time? Hi, Molly. Look, you don't have to kid me. Hi, George. Hey, you look kind of pale. You feeling okay? I'm okay. Look, what's going on with you two? What? What, nothing anymore. Right, George? I mean, if you really got to know, Ben, there hasn't been anything since... Oh, I, I, I didn't mean that. Look, I'm riding with him, too. The more the merrier. Thanks. You know about... Yeah. Well, I've never been on this route before. Actually, it's a pretty good one. Easy. George is lucky he's got it. Yeah. I used to think that myself. <laughs> See, that's the last stop before the cemetery. She's not on the bus yet. If she isn't on the bus, she sure as hell can't get off it. And if you can't see her, she's not there. There you are, George. You'll see. Everything's going to be just fine. You don't understand. The fact that I can't see her doesn't mean anything. I never pick her out until I hear the bell... But there hasn't been a bell, George. And we're almost at the cemetery. (laughs) Driver, this is my stop. Did you see her? What's the matter with you, George? Why did you stop the bus? Why did you open the door? I don't know. I had to. My hand. My hand. It it went right to the lever. I couldn't stop it. What are you talking about, George? That doesn't make sense. Look. Look. She's still out there. Can't you see her? She's waving at me. Calling me to go out there. I'll be back in a minute. George, where the hell are you going? Don't go out there, George! No. George! No, hold it, Molly. He's got to get to the bottom of this by himself. Where is she? Oh, I should have known. Hey, you there? <laughs> See, he knows right where to go. But he's only been here once, hasn't he? But he does know. Over here, George. This is your stop, George. This is the end of the line. You don't have to go anywhere anymore. There's nowhere to go now. There isn't? No, there isn't. Is there? Where are they? 
so dark here. I can't see. It's grass here. It's getting soft, wet. This isn't grass. It's earth. Oh my God. It's an open grave. I... <laughs> hey, it, it was an accident. I swear it, it was an accident. You could have helped me, George, but you didn't. He could. Sure he could. He's a good boy. He can be very helpful. I didn't know that. How could George know how to help? Oh, he just knows. <laughs> What do you want? What do you want to know? Nothing. We finally know now. We know all about you and Molly, George. But Marion didn't know, did she? Even Molly didn't know, did she? She couldn't understand after all, could she? But we understand, George, don't we? We know all about it, don't we, George? So it's all right, isn't it, George? Even if Marion didn't know. Even if Molly doesn't know. Even if nobody knows but us. Yes, nobody knows. But us. I don't think we should be doing this. He's got to work it out for himself. For God's sake, Ben, he's been wandering around in here for an hour. We've got to help him. What's that? Over there. Oh, my God. Come on. Hey, don't leave them open like that, do they? How the hell should... Oh, God. You got any matches or anything? Yeah. George? Oh, my God. Look at the headstone. It's... It's... Ma Marion's grave... Molly. What? Don't look down in there. Just heard Cemetery Stop by Marjorie Stewart. Featured in tonight's cast were Neil Monroe as George Mortland, Jane Eastwood as Molly, and Murray Westgate as Ben. You also heard Alan Fawcett as Frankie, Frank Perry as the elderly passenger, and Alan Levson as the young boy. The voices of the two women from the graveyard were played by Elva May Hoover and Marion Waldman. Our recording engineer is Brian Pape with sound effects by Matt Wilcott and the production assistance of Nina Callahan. Nightfall is produced and directed for CBC Radio by Bill Howell.